Hi folks, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you around a Transit Connect because it just struck me that we've never made a video of one of these. So we've upgraded the Hi-Fi in here. Nothing but Hi-Fi. So no gadgets or anything else. Um, essentially, it's similar to a Transit Custom in that you've got a set of front components and kind of no subwoofer. You've got Apple CarPlay, which is really nice. Um, and what we've done in here, because again, the panels are quite restrictive, we've just uh, retrimmed the existing panels and opened them up so we can get these Hertz Melee Legend tweeters out from behind those very restrictive grills. It's really important to do in terms of sound quality and tweeter dispersion, etc., etc. Um, because we're using the beautiful Hertz Melee Legend components, which really are very, very special. Um, we've gone extra work in the door, so we're now using our four layer soundproofing system. So we use three layers in some systems, four in others. So you've got the extra sound absorber panel behind the um, door card in there. Um, it's an active system, so we're using a JL Audio 705 to run the audio. So this amplifier here has five channels. It's got a mono channel, which runs a subwoofer, which is hidden under this seat. And in fact, that's a JL Audio W3 eight inch driver. So it's a fantastic little subwoofer and a very compact enclosure. The other two channels from this five channel amp, two channels drive the woofers in the bottom of the doors and two channels drive the tweeters. So this gives approximately one, because it's a four ohm load on the bass driver, one by just under 200 watts RMS to the bass. Uh, 2 by 75 watts to the melee woofers and 2 by 75 watts to the melee tweeters, which is, you know, more than enough power. We're using a Hertz H8 DSP in here, so it's a pretty compact little bit of kit, although they are just about to release, I think it's an S8, which would be a quarter of the size, so that's going to be quite good fun to play with. But it's a great little DSP, it does exactly what we want it to do in here. It's got a 31 band EQ, it's got full time alignment obviously, and it allows us to have a couple of inputs. So one input will be from the factory head unit, which is a high level input. But then the second input, we've used a new Audison Beacon. So that's a high resolution Bluetooth audio streamer. So this just sits underneath here. And then we've got a Toslink cable here, if you can see it. So that's a fiber optic, which lets the, or sends the audio out in optical format, digital of course, into the optical in of processor. So that means that we've got two sources. <clears throat> we've got the normal analog output from the head unit, but if we want some real good quality listening, we can switch over to an optical input and listen to the digital streamer. Um, not much else to see in here really. These are the signal cables coming down to feed the amplifier, the analog side of things. Um, this is ES3, it's something we install with <clears throat> every processor. It's basically a little regulated power supply that stabilizes the voltage to the processor. So when you crank the car over, you don't get any nasty pops and things like that on a cold morning. Um, a diesel engine pulls a huge amount of current it can cause the voltage to dip and you can get little audio pops and things like that so that avoids all of that and we've made a uh, well it's not really a baffle is it it's a hardwood um, ply hardwood base here with all sorts of complicated little structures that enable it to be fitted in place without drilling holes in the vehicle so everything can come out so quite a squeeze as you can see to get these two devices under this seat but it all fits just and then this seat will fold down um, so as well as the soundproofing, we soundproof the rear bulkhead. Um, that's very important in a van because this will ring like a cymbal. I saw some of my, my other friends point out the other day in an installation and it is very, very important. It's good to see that lots of other people are doing it. We offer it as an option on all of our commercial vehicle upgrades. So you can have that panel soundproofed and then carpeted over. It makes it look nice, but it massively, massively, massively improves the acoustics inside the van. And it also, of course, it blocks some road noise that's coming in the back. So there, yeah, that's very important. So there you go. A nice little system in a Transit Connect. Um, it sounds fantastic, it'll be dead reliable, and it's in here to last for years. We of course give a free year warranty on all of our uh, equipment, but a lifetime warranty on air installation. And when that seat folds down, you'll never know any of that was in here. One really important factor for this customer is he didn't want to lose any space in the back of the van at all. And that's what we've achieved. Hopefully we'll be picking the car up in the next half hour or so. So let's hope he's as pleased with the result as we are. If you've enjoyed the um, video and the description of what we've done, then uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching.